<laughs> he fell. I forget, does he fall again? I think he does. He's just looking at us now. <laughs> what the? Uh oh. Are you guys all the way down here? Recap the white mantle's orgy. I'll watch. I don't know what that is. Wait, what is it? There. The white mantle what? Yeah. The uh, white mantle need... origins. There's a, up. a NPC that goes on about it. The uh, it has. I, I think it has a little bit to do with the raid and uh, maybe something from Guild Wars One. Yeah, I think the raid is involved. Well, yeah, we're like literally, the white mantle part of the raid is on the other side of this fucking wall right here. It really is, actually. Like I, I seen a bit about that with my main. I was curious if I could get, unlock the um, raid mastery stuff. Oh no, no, I actually have to go through the raid and kill a champion over there to unlock that shit. I was horrified. I mean, look. Stronghold of the Faithful is right on the other side. Do you think that's where this gate would go to? Yeah, it probably does. So close, but so far. Not the fire. Yes. Someone needs to light the bonfire. We need this place. We need this bonfire. What if we die? That's the best I can do. <laughs> I'm trying to light it. I'm trying my hardest. It's just... It's too difficult. <laughs> Last one. So were you gonna get like the blood ruby? You know the little things above their heads don't actually leave when, before you um... or. Even after you talk to them. On yeah, those stuff. little story markers are always going to be on them. They never leave. Oh, yeah. It drives me nuts. I've been trying to get a, rid of those you things since spit. I saw them. What'd you say? The part about the spit. Uh, the part about the spit? When you spit it out and suck it back in. Oh, what yeah. <laughs> My character said, I never did that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I wonder if one of the races or genders do say it. Uh, I don't know. No Sticky, idea, talk actually. to this guy. So, for the lulls, me and my buddy Alex, we basically um, did a squad thing and tried out Spirit Veil. See how well we could do on, our, on just our own. Yeah, we could take basically two of these guardians on our own. Like, honestly, they were very easy. I could make Fabio? <gasps> I could try to mimic one of the walking weeds? <gasps> I could almost become a male Norn star? <laughs> uh, I still think that was a hilarious fight. Like, basically, I seen a giant Norn with this giant pink porn stash, and his username was Male Norn Star. It was just so glorious. So much glory. And he had sunglasses and everything. I could become a goddamn rock. But no, that's just my armor. I can just turn that on and off with this bit. What does this do? Oh. Lights on. Lights off. Lights on. Lights off. Clap on. Clap off. Anyway. I could become a midget? 
But no, actually, let's just zoom. Okay, now this is an actual goddamn shame. This is probably one of the best hairs for girls in this game I've ever seen. I freaking love hair like this. Where it's put in a ponytail of the sort, and they waste it. Or at least it's kind of wasted. Like, compared to the other hairs I was looking at in here, stiff. Let's see, um, what's a good prime example? Maybe this one. No, not that one, apparently. Where is it? You see that? The little waviness effect from turning? They could have included that. I have something much easier to situate that for. I mean, it's basically from here down for a light wave. Like a breeze in the wind, just gently tugging on the strands. They didn't do that. <laughs> and there's other hair I've noticed that does this. Is this one? No. Well, actually, yes, on the front. Like, at the bangs. This is so disappointing. <laughs> I'm actually a little depressed about that. <laughs> like, even this gets a little light, um... Waviness from movement. What is this? That gets a lighter effect. Not by much. Hmm. Sad rock is most indeed sad. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the latest map edition to Guild Wars 2. This place is called Bloodstone Fen. It is pretty cool. And it's also very dangerous. This. Well, that looks like a thing over there. But I don't care enough about it. So yeah, this place is really cool, and it's also not very big. So your chances of actually getting lost in this place is pretty slim. I was supposed to go left for that, so there. Just run out of yes I did. Man, I wanted the bloodstone too. Refreshing. So the enemies in this area are called the White Mantle. They're kind of similar to bandits in the sense that they are like outcasts of the humans and against the queen and stuff. In this place there are literally events around every corner and it's super easy to catch one. 
And I realize it's kind of a shame that I don't have any mining tools. From what I can tell, this map is intended to be something like a bit of like a, a raid and gathering sort of Wrong. map. Like if there is a form of material or something you want that's a uh, uh, better sort, like bloodstone or or a calcum or something, this is a little more ideal of a map for you because it's a really short map to explore by. And half the time, like, um, Eat my dust. what moment would be in half the time? Whenever you get into, like, a new instance of this map, <coughs> like, basically, all the nodes will reset for you. you can never have if you hop onto a different character, you can just go through all of these nodes again. Whoa, I didn't even see that there. Stop it. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. <laughs> and there's two kinds of little currencies to this map. For starters, there we have the Unbound Magic. Now these can be gathered from killing basically anything. They can be gathered from these little balls in the sky. Like, um, they're purple. I'm trying to see if there's any other close ones nearby. Oftentimes they're like these little mid-air spots that you can glide to, like you've seen a bit earlier. And then there's another kind of um, currency, the Blood Rubies. Now these go for a <laughs> these go for a decent bit for what they are, if you just sell them to, straight to a merchant. But that's a waste. It's also kind of a waste to salvage them because you only get so many of these so fast. Now, ultimately, you can use those to get half-decent Ascended gear, which is not bad at all. Like, not bad at all. Ultimately, this is a good map for um, grinding out mastery levels, I would say, for Maguma stuff. As well as maybe Picking up a few pennies out of stuff to sell. I thought so. Yeah, you guys seen earlier of um, me with a couple friends. My buddy Alex and Sticky. Let's see, no pages here. So there's a there's a bunch of stuff lying around of like paper to this map that will complete journals which benefit to achievements and also give a little more background insight on um, the enemies here. Like not exactly a helpful background insight, more of like um, what they did, how they relate to one another, work together and such. Or how they see their comrades and such. Oh, I didn't realize there was a visual one. They damn business, don't you come? Wait, they can pick it up too? Okay. Didn't know that part. Yeah, there is basically bad things all over the place. And if there's anything I've learned, the uh, white mantle characters are the most annoying things in this entire place. Not because they're like the main enemy bulk of the lines here, but actually because they, um, when you're gliding, they will just snipe you out of the air with a frickin' rock. <laughs> Like, it is actually kind of scary how f well they can just see you and scope you out with a frickin' rock. Like, one area in particular gets most people, and that's the, um, the maw here. Let's see. Is there a thing to it? Bloodstone maw. <coughs> Going down a little more midway and below. You are most likely going to just get p 
picked off with a rock. <laughs> it's like, oh, I see you up there. Sniped. I'm just letting my curiosity get the better of me. <laughs> right now. Like, I'm checking nooks and crannies. Like, I just have not found all these pages yet. And I've been basically everywhere. Which means their placements are pretty subtle. Just gonna run this way. Pretty sure there's a guy chasing me, but I don't really care. I'm just more interested in the blood crystals. The bloodstone crystals. I want all of it. All your bloodstone, it belonged to me. If I manage to find a page or two in the middle of it, that's also fine and dandy. Like, you cannot go wrong with that. But yeah, this place is crazy. This is probably one of the biggest places where gliding is actually useful. And that's like the crazy part about the whole King Sniped with Rocks bit. To safety. As you've seen by the little vade, one of them actually tried to throw something at me. I feel strong still. Let me tell you guys, there's a lot of odd little nooks and crannies like this. And the most upsetting thing to me is that there isn't, um... <laughs> I have yet to see any of these with, like, pages to them. Well, this one actually looks like it might be a little different. No way. Players were actually intended to get here? I thought I found something I wasn't supposed to. <coughs> Alright, where do I go to? I guess while I'm at this, I might as well scan the area for pages. On second thought, maybe not supposed to find. Either that or they missed a spot. I'm not sure which. <coughs> I thought I was just finding a clever spot. Whoops. And it has another one of these. This is basically seen through the map where it's actually unfinished. And where it is. I'm confused. It was just like a tricky pathing glide here. I assumed it was supposed to be done. <laughs> In fact, it still looks like it is, actually. I love how I just try my hardest to find the simplest of things, and instead I just find crap like this. <laughs> I don't know how I do that. This 
So where's this supposed to take the player to? Up there. Over there? Looks like this goes possibly around. I feel like I'm here ahead of my time. I could just check on Dolphy or something for where those pages are. But I just don't want to resort to that so badly <laughs> that I just find this stuff. Uh, wait a minute. Where is that to? I just take the more mind boggling route here? Was I not supposed to do that? <laughs> Well everyone, I'm going to stick around here to reverse engineer this place, but I'm all out of time for recording for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hi. I'm 41 Solstice 25, Winter Solstice 8, and have a good day. Bye bye.